Maybe it was cool. Come on, man. Haven't you ever wanted to spend the night in a museum, you know, do it up with all the stuffed creatures and the bones? No, Sean. I have it. I can't spend the night in the museum. I don't have my toothbrush. I don't have any of my multivitamins. And oh, yeah, I don't want my soul suffering eternal damnation for disrupting the sleep of an Egyptian canal digger. Operations coordinators at Arrow Senior Living. What is happening? Hello, operations coordinators. This is Dulé Hill. You might know me as Gus Silly Pants Jackson or Lavender Gooms or maybe Methuselah Suckle or Oval Teen Jenkins or TT Showbiz, MC Clap Your Hands with a Z, Tan Tapman, Jamaican Inspector Man. Last night, Gus, a player named Gus, John Slade. Shit, I see with the comment to the top. That's God's comma, operations coordinators. That's God's comma right there. I don't know. Maybe you know me as Donut Holstein or Satchel Gizmo or Brutan Gaster. Or maybe you know me very simply as Burton Guster. You know what? I've heard it both ways. I've heard it both ways, operations coordinators. But you know what I've not heard both ways? How awesome you all are. How magnificent you all are. How disciplined you all are. How organized you all are. I mean, you know, life in general can, can come at you sideways in all different kind of ways. You can get, you know, curve balls and fast balls and, you know, foul balls and everything. But you know what? No matter what comes your way, operation coordinators, you all keep it together. You all are like, let's tighten it up and you all get it done. And I want you to know, hey, I'm proud of you. Yes, I am. I'm proud of you because in the midst of all the things you have to juggle, you keep on making sure that you can tackle everything that's thrown your way. You keep on staying cool and collected in the midst, in the midst of chaotic times. When the challenges come your way, you're able to navigate it and you work collectively as a unit to be able to move the ball down the field. And that is really an awesome thing. Oftentimes when things can unexpectedly happen people a lot of people will lose their mind a lot of people will not know what to do they will fumble and trip over themselves but you all you all stay disciplined you stay focused and you get the job done and the job that you are doing is really an awesome thing i mean you were there at arrow senior living and you were helping people live out their life to the fullest and it's a wonderful thing that you all are doing you are sowing seeds of kindness sowing seeds of love sowing seeds of compassion sowing seeds of understanding and sowing seeds of life and i trust that as you continue to sow those seeds of goodness in every good thing not only into your lives but the lives of those around you and beyond you i trust that, every, that those seeds will blossom up into so many wonderful and marvelous experiences in your brighter tomorrow you know oftentimes when we give of ourselves and we uh we give the best of ourselves to others. We can wonder, do people really realize the cost that it takes to do what we do? Do people realize the energy that it takes to be how we are? And we can often feel like, are we, is what we are doing in vain? But I want you to know, operations coordinators, that the entire team at Arrow Senior Living, they appreciate you. They are grateful for you. How do I know? Because they told me so. I mean, that's how this is happening, operations coordinators, because Arrow Senior Living, they reached out to me to see if I could send a message to you. And when I heard how Gus like you were, that, I mean, no matter what was going on, you keep everyone organized and in check. And although it can be chaotic sometimes, you always man manage to tackle everything thrown your way with grace. I said, oh, my gosh. I have to be a part of this. As a matter of fact, I'm really starting to wonder why was Gus Silly Pants Jackson? Why has he not yet been an employee at Arrow Senior Living? Why was he not in operations coordinators like like you all? Because, I mean, I mean, you, we all like kin we're like kindred spirits. You see what I'm saying? We should we should we should all be a team. But anyway, I'm digressing. The point is. When I heard how awesome you were, I was overjoyed to be able to join with this moment, to join in this moment and send this message to you. Seriously and truly, thank you for being a fan of mine. Know that I'm sending all that love back to you. And I really want you to know how much I appreciate the seeds of goodness and kindness that you are sowing into the lives of those around you. You know, we are we're all on this journey together, even though oftentimes in this world, we can feel like we are on an island by ourselves or we are in a silo by ourselves. But we are all connected. We are all energy and we are all traveling this journey together from one point of it, of our beginning to the end we are all existing in this space at this same moment in time and there are people who give of themselves to take away from this from their others and there are there people who use their, their time here on this earth to take away from the, from others and there are people who use their time here on this earth to support and give to others to 
fill up others, to be there for others, to lead others along the way. And you all are doing it. You all do that each and every day. And I'm so honored to be in the presence of you at this moment. Even through this this electronic device, I'm honored to be able to share the same space and time with you all. Keep on being the beacon of light that you are. Keep on being the light of hope that you are and keep on being the hope for a brighter tomorrow that you are because I trust that your tomorrow is going to be greater. I trust that later is going to be greater for you and I trust that goodness is going to continue to overflow. Much love to you. Arrow Senior Living appreciates you and you know what? So do I. What? Come on, son. You know that's right. <laughs>